Hey there. Um, so today we're going to be rendering a load of nodes based on an array. So basically we're going to loop through an array and for each element in that array we're going to create a node. And we're going to place this in our scene for our Pokedex. So Pokedex TSCN. Now then, in our Pokedex.tsen, we want to uh, place it inside a um, component, a component control node, or something that involves a control node. <laughs> so let's start by changing this node to a control node. Oh, control. And this basically means that it's rendered in front of the camera. So no matter where the camera is in the world, um, we're still rendering this in front of it. Okay, and then we're going to first rename this to Pokédex. Okay, and just to confirm it, we will add a sprite in. Right, give it this, put it like here, uh, save this as pokedex.tsn. Okay, now then, before it created the pokedex scene like in the center of the world, and it'll still do that, but this time it does it consistently wherever you are, it's still rendering it in the same place be let's put it in a canvas layer Okay then, that actually works this time. Okay then, so you want to place the uh, you want to replace the node two D with a um, canvas item node. Uh, this one, uh, canvas layer. There we go, and just save that as Pokedex, and this is to confirm it. And we want to make a new scene, and this will be a Pokedex item. And it's just going to be a sprite. But Pokédex item. Uh, we'll give it the dialog box sprite. And there we go. Just know we want to end it there. Um, Maybe we should make it a patch night frame X. No, no, we don't, because we'll be making a sprite later. Then we'll add a label. Now keep in mind this is all just temporary, and we'll name this one. Make the text black. So then, Pokedex.item.tsm. There we go. Um, now we want to loop through uh, a array to render a Pokedex item in the Pokedex scene. So first thing we want to do is go to our singleton and create an array. Our Pokemon equals And we're going to have create We're going to call uh, For now we're not go we're going to, These are for current Pokemon uh, For the, the example that I showed for dictionaries Were for current Pokemon 
we're going to need to implement the system of uh, listing the Pokemon that exist rather than the ones we currently have equipped. Right? Okay, so in the Singleton we have... So this array was basically the Pokemon exists, that exist. We'll eventually replace this array with a dictionary. Um, next up, we want to create a script for this. Add script. And uh, we'll be doing all this in the ready for now anyway. So, also, <laughs> something I probably should have got to first is if you go to the menu, uh, if we change this to preload, it's more resource efficient because it loads it in the boot up tag, basically. Okay, <laughs> next up. Uh, we're going to loop through, so for i in singleton dot pokemon, um, var pokedex item equals load, uh, res slash slash pokedex item.tscm if you're using a different directory remember to put it in the right to um, link this here to the right place uh, I think it was blank that didn't do this uh, a simple mistake to make but you gotta look out for simple mistakes when you're programming okay so um, when this happens, we also we're gonna add a a node two D called Pokédex items. This is just gonna be the node that we're gonna put our Pokédex items in. Uh, Pokédex folder equals get node Pokédex items. So, Pokédex folder dot add child. I'm going to add Pokédex item dot. Hang on. We're going to make a variable to store it so we can set the text of it. Var uh, node equals Pokédex. Oh, let's give it camel casing. Pokédex item dot instance and we want to uh, set the position so I no var x equals zero var y equals zero actually no, we could have back to duty but this is all temporary okay this is just proof of concept uh so x plus equals 10 y plus equals 10 node dot set dot set pause vector 2 x y node dot set text right text wonder if it's capital and this will be just i because it's an array of strings and just add node as a child for pokedex holder let's run this error node set text and base right because we're setting the text of the sprite as opposed we're saying the text of this as opposed to this. So what we want to do is uh, node dot get child or label dot set text. Oh, 
Get node. Whoops. This is a messy video. Sorry. I've I've been quite. It's been quite a busy day for me, and this is kind of a hurried one. So what it did there was. I think it rendered all of them. I think we need to change this to like. Three hundred, three hundred. One, two, three, four. So yeah, it rendered all of them. Uh, so what we're going to use this for is uh, rendering one of these for each Pokemon that exists, and this will be useful, obviously, for Pokedexes. So we'll continue that next time. Thanks for watching, and again, I'm so sorry that. This has dragged on a bit, and probably I'm going to leave the mistakes in here unedited, just to see how, I don't know, just so you can see that I mess up. Plus, editing, editing. I haven't really set it up so I can edit this one easily, because I'm an idiot. Thanks for watching. See you next time.